So this is one of those games that I've heard a great deal about and that I've been uh, looking forward to playing for a while. Uh, so this is Black Mesa. I guess it's a uh, Half-Life 2 mod and from what I've been told it's a completely uh, redone version of Half-Life 1 with Half-Life 2 graphics. Uh, so I've heard. And I've also heard it's uh, fairly difficult, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with normal difficulty. Um, what my friends told me is that uh, some of the firefights are pretty frustrating, so in any case, within the game you can uh, change the difficulty up, so I might have to do that, I don't know. But uh, we'll just see how it goes for now. And so without any further ado, we will jump into Black Mesa. So I'll try not to talk when uh, other things are talking, but uh, when they're not, I'll I'll try and uh, get my word in. So just like every other Half-Life game, this uh, likes to stop and load during the game. So uh, nice thing about editing is I can get rid of that uh, in the videos. That was a good little intro to the game. Nice train ride. Oh. So this is the first time I've played this, so this is my first blind let's play I've done. This is actually the only second let's play I've ever done. Um, I played the Half-Life 2 games, I played Half-Life 2 and the two episodes uh, with it, which all three of them are um, available through Steam. And they're, they're really fun games, like they're old, but uh, for the time that they were made, they're, they're a lot of fun and they uh, definitely show for it. Apparently the intro is still going when I thought it ended like a minute ago, but that's fine. So yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe after this I'll uh, do the Half-Life games. Um, the Half-Life 2 games, sorry. On my channel. We'll see how this one goes. 
Hopefully I'll try not to get as I'll try not to get too frustrated. I know I've had a couple uh, moments, uh, you know, especially playing Cry of Fear and uh, the other Half-Life games, uh, where I've just had to shut it off and uh, take a bit of a break from it because sometimes uh, when video games get frustrating, it's not it's not that uh, good of a situation for me. You know, things might go flying across the room, including my expensive computer. No, I'm joking. I would probably never do that. But uh, <laughs> sometimes I just need to take a break. A reminder that the Black Mesa Hazard Course Decathlon will commence this evening at 1900 hours in the Level 3 facility. The semifinals for high security personnel will be announced in a separate secure broadcast transmission. Remember, more lives than yours may depend on your fitness. Maybe we'll finally be able to get off this train. This is seriously the longest intro to a game I think I've ever experienced. Do you have a relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and load clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. So unfortunately, even though this is a mod, it's not uh, made available through Steam. I had to torrent this game. But, uh, I've heard a lot of really good things about it, like I've said before, so I think it'll definitely be worth the time, your time, to play it. Regular radiation and biohazard screening are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a schedule of your analysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Holy shit, the train ride's over. Finally. Just gotta wait for this guy to open the door. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Yeah, it's because the train ride was so fucking long, you fucking retard. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. I guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Might have to switch up some controls around here because uh, I know for every Half-Life 2 game that I've played I've had to switch them around because they're not what I'm used to. Oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Gordon Freeman had a ponytail? That's pretty badass. Mm -hmm. I used to have one at one point when I was like 14 years old. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. Look, it's the Windows uh, blue screen of death. In the test chamber too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. 
That actually looks like the OS they're using is uh, Windows. Alright. So I don't know. Can you sprint yet? I don't know. Probably not. I guess he's not wearing a suit or anything right now, so he probably can't. Thing I love about this game is just throwing random shit at people. You just stand there like not even giving a fuck. Just throw a book at your face. Just don't even care. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published. And to say nothing Hello, Dr. Cross. This is going to have to wait, Gordon. Okay, then fine. I don't even know. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. You and your sugar coated air Max, socks well, are absolutely full of cold in here. Talk to you, do I talk to you? No. Talk to you. Is going to just have to wait, to wait until until after the test. After the test, okay, well what's the test? Guess I'm just going down here then. Morning, so, champ. Something different Hello. happens. So just Mir, she looked exactly like that chick that was over in the other room. French fries? You can sell french fries in a vending machine? Never heard of that before. Huh. Oh, I got an achievement for walking around. That's pretty awesome. Huh. Oh, that sucks for you, buddy. Huh. I, d I honestly don't know. Maybe I'm... I guess I'm just supposed to keep walking around here. Oh, shit. Ah, there we go. The famous, uh, Gordon Freeman, uh, suit. Can I sprint yet? Oh, there we go. Okay, just a second. I gotta, uh... I gotta pause this here for a sec, cause I gotta mess around with the controls here. There we go. Oh my god, fuck off. There we go. Come on. Stupid ass door. Like Speedy Gonzalez here. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the ah, Freeman. Do you get unloaded sprinting? That'd be pretty awesome if you did. I don't know. There's no there's no sprint meter like there is in the other games. Huh. What the hell is this? Okay, I don't know. Just walk around until oh, I guess go in here. There we go. Bitch. I love this sprinting. I'm sure it seems to me that the graphics are actually more advanced in this one than they were in Half-Life 2. That's what it seems to me. Up, like, John? being able to tilt the screen when you're moving from left to lo to, uh, left to right, I don't ever remember that happening in the uh, Half-Life 2 games at all. So far this game is really impressive. Even though I haven't fired a gun yet, but uh, that'll soon uh, happen, hopefully. Hi, Gordon. Nice you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down.
Did you pick up a fire extinguisher? No. Making last minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Morning. Good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last minute changes, they're a bit strange to just. Oh! Pick Shit. Up to go critical. Did I break that? No. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? Oh, it was. Never meant to do this in the first place. I got a feeling shit's about to go down soon. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Can I just jump down there? No, probably not. Or can I? Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. <coughs> <coughs> Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. You know, far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Erskine man. Gordon Freeman. Looks like everyone's going a little frantic right now. Right about now. What's up, dude? Just wanted to say my name because it's fun to say. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't Gordon feel doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. I'm glad you feel that way, buddy. What the f Uh Let's see here. Testing. Testing. <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask controller to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Okay, am I in the right spot? There we go. <coughs> nice thing about Half-Life games is they're, uh, pretty easy to figure out even like the puzzles and stuff that they'll throw at you they're usually not too easy not too hard to uh, figure out get the hang of So I don't know if I'm supposed to actually do something or just sit in this room or what. It's probably not a problem. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in well no. It's well with an acceptable doctor. I don't think I'm supposed to do anything. We have just been informed that the sample is ready. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Dude, I got stuck on that ladder for a second there. Standard insertion. Non-standard specimen. Oh, get away from me! Oh, my God. I'm coming down. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Uh... 
was I supposed to do that? Shit. <laughs> I think I just, uh... Oh, I think I just fucked something up royally, I don't know. I think I better get out of here. Nope, maybe not. What the fuck? <laughs> 